guys, I'm Laura Vitale. On this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I'm gonna show you how to make peanut butter and banana muffins. They're so delicious, incredibly simple and easy to make, and perfect for when you have just a few bananas that are a little too overripe to eat on their own. Let me take you over the ingredients so we can get started. You're gonna need some all-purpose plain flour, salt, baking powder, peanut butter chips, regular plain granulated sugar, eggs, vanilla, smooth peanut butter, vegetable oil, and you're gonna need some bananas. Okay, the first thing you wanna do is get your oven preheated to 400. The second thing you wanna do is take your muffin tin and line it with liners so that that's ready for you. And we're gonna straight, go straight into it. So, in this little bowl, I'm gonna just mix together my dry ingredients, which I pretty much already have in the bowl, and kind of get those mixed a little bit so that they're, they're mixed in, but not too, too much. Now I'm gonna take a few tablespoons of the flour mixture and I'm going to toss my peanut butter chips in it because when the flour coats the peanut butter chips, it, they distribute through the batter very evenly, making them, allowing them to bake all the way through the muffin and not sink all the way through the bottom. I always do that trick and it works every single time. So get that done and out of the way. So now we're gonna get going on the rest of the batter, which is so easy and simple. You can like do the whole thing in one bowl and you don't have to get a lot of things dirty. So, we're gonna take these bananas, which are overripe, but they're perfect for baking because when they're overripe like this, they don't look too appealing to eat on their own, and I totally understand that, but they become so sweet and they mash up so easily and it's just amazing. I make banana bread, all the time, and of course I have a recipe of Laura in the kitchen of banana bread, it's my all time favorite banana bread, it's just delicious, and um, I always find a reason to buy lots of bananas because I like to make some muffins and cakes and banana bread. So all I'm doing now with a fork is mashing up my bananas. So go ahead and do that until everything is nice and mushy. Once your bananas are all mashed up, this is how simple it is. To that, you're gonna put in your vegetable oil, eggs, sugar, and your peanut butter. Now, I know what you're thinking, that is not a lot of peanut butter, and it's not, but it does have plenty of flavor, and you're gonna get a lot of peanut butter flavor from the peanut butter chips, don't forget. And you want this to be peanut butter and banana, not all peanut butter. So now with my handy dandy little mixer here, I'm gonna just mix everything together to have a nice smooth mixture. That looks great. Now I'm gonna add in my dry ingredients. And I'm just gonna mix this in to combine, but you don't wanna over mix it. So once you can see that it's all combined, stop there. Awesome. And finally, we're going to take our flour and peanut butter chip mixture, and we're gonna just fold this in with a spatula, and I do it with a spatula instead of the mixer because it just ensures that I'm not overmixing, because if you overmix, and I get this question all the time, if you overmix, you'll activate the gluten in the flour, which means you're gonna get a very tough bread-like consistency or texture to your muffin or your cupcakes or your cakes or whatever you're making. Um, you want that texture when you're making bread. That's why when you're working with bread or you're making bread, you want it to like mix for a long, long time until it becomes a big a ball of dough and it's smooth and all that. But when you're making cakes and stuff, you don't want that texture. You don't want that bread texture. Okay, now that you have that done, Take your muffin tin, handy dandy ice cream scoop, and you know what to do next. Fill them up. Last one. Now this is gonna go into your preheated oven for about 15 to 18 minutes or until they're fully cooked through. And the easiest way to tell is you take a toothpick, you'll insert it into the center, and if it comes out clean with no wet batter on it, it's done. And then you're gonna let them cool for a bit, and then I'll show you what they look like once they're there. If you can wait for them to cool, because they smell so good. I took the muffins out of the oven about 10 minutes ago. They baked for about 18 minutes, and they're, they have cooled down a bit, but they're still warm, and like I said, I, I knew I wasn't gonna have the uh, willpower to wait until they cooled completely, because personally, I love a warm muffin, and especially when it's banana and peanut butter, it's delightful. So let's take this one, and let's take a peek, shall we? Oh, smells amazing. Let's check it out. Smells so good, and you see that the peanut butter chips are all spread evenly throughout the batter. 
That's because of the flower trick. Makes me want to slap someone on their so good. Wow. Like, really good. Really, really good. If you've ever had the combination of peanut butter and banana together, you are missing out if you haven't because this is just one of the best combinations ever. I love to even make like a peanut butter and banana sandwich and then grill it with a little butter on the outside. Oh, I'm going to go back for more. If you want to get this recipe, and you totally should, go to www.laurenandkitchen.com. I'll see you next time. Bye.